What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video. Um, I will not be doing the podcast today because today iOS 7 comes out. Um, and for this, uh, for this video, um, I had to take my case off. And when I took my case off, I noticed that there was all kinds of dust everywhere. Um, sorry, Twitter is kind of taking over. Anyway, um, if you guys... Uh, are going to uh, upgrade to iOS 7 you are going to need some free space so make sure to free up some uh, sorry about that Twitter and Facebook are blowing up because of iOS 7 um, so you're gonna need to free up some space uh, most likely you're gonna have to delete some videos or uh, pictures and that's exactly what I did I just save it in iCloud and I'll get those pictures and videos right back all I had to do is save it in iCloud and I'll get them right back so I am going to do the uh, upgrade right now for you guys um, what I'm going to do, I do have assistive touch, so my lock button does not work. So if that ever affects anything, I'll just bring my charger over here to turn my phone back on. So slide to unlock it, put my password in, not that it matters. And yes, my background is John Mayer. It's a pretty sweet background, I know. Oh, it's also Wednesday. You know what that means? It's hump day. No, I'm not going to make that joke. Okay, so you go into settings. What you do, you go to general. Then you go to software update, and it will say checking or update for just a second or so. Then it will say iOS 7 um, is ready to download, and it is 752 megabytes. A lot of people do not have 752 megabytes to download. So you, like I said, you either have to delete some apps or um, delete some videos or something. Just store them in iCloud real quick and get them back after you get iOS 7. Um, so... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this whole process for you guys. This is my assistive touch, so <laughs> that might be in the way a little bit. So I'm just going to press download and install. Um, I would definitely recommend having Wi-Fi. I, I actually think you have to have Wi-Fi to do this. So once I press download, it brings up to the terms and conditions. I'm obviously not going to read all of it because there's a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm just going to press agree and say I read it. Um, so it says I agree to the terms. All right, there we go. Software to save battery. Uh, blah. It's telling me to connect my charger. Um, you can connect your charger and it'll save your battery because this is going to eat up a lot of your battery. So do not just do this if you're planning on leaving right after. So just press continue. If you're planning on leaving and going somewhere, don't do this. It's going to say estimated time remaining, and it's going to be a while. I'm guessing because this is a completely different. Um, a uh, completely different operating system, or not new operating system, but UI. The user interface is going to be completely changed and different. Um, and this will be, this whole video will be me installing it. So, so far it just says six minutes. So I'm going to cut to where this is done at the very end, and then I will bring it right back to you guys. See you in a little bit. All right, we are back, and it says that there's less than one minute remaining um, on the download. Of course, it's going to have to restart the, the phone and do all kinds of stuff, um, but it says preparing update right now, so it should be done shortly, and then it'll have to reset the phone, do a whole bunch of other stuff, and then it will be done. This last half, I'm not sure how long that's going to take. Maybe it won't take another six minutes, but uh, here we go. Alright, so it is almost done, it just has a little bit left, so while I am uh, updating, I completely forgot to tell you guys, so for, for the people in the future, um, the people in the future watching this video, uh, this update did come out Wednesday, September 18th at 1 o'clock, uh, 1 o'clock Eastern Time and 10 o'clock uh, Pacific Time. Uh, so it is just about done. The first half took six minutes, the first half of that, and the second half has taken about 15 to 20 minutes. So if you're going to be doing this update, you're going to need, um, definitely do this on, over Wi-Fi. Um, I think you have to do it over Wi-Fi, but I don't, I don't really know. You might not have to do it over Wi-Fi. Um, but when you are doing this update, you are definitely going to need about a half hour to 45 minutes of free time to do this because it does take a while. It is a completely new user interface, so you do need some some time to do this. You can't just come in and think that you're going to do this in uh, you know five minutes. It, it takes a lot longer than that. Um, but it has been saying preparing update for the past uh, 20 minutes. So we are almost done. I'm going to cut this until the next stage of the update. 
All right, so I just got done with that stage of the uh, of the update, and it told me that I have uh, I had an error in my update because I do not have 50% battery. So what you can do is you can just plug it into a power source, and that's what I did. Um, I have 45% battery, so I'm 5% short. But you do need 50% battery in order to do this, which I guess I did not know that. So I'm just going to press close and install now. Now that I'm plugged into a power source. Um, and it's going to say blah 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 agree and agree verifying update so I'm just acting like I read everything <laughs> alright so after it got done saying verifying update it uh, gave me the little spinny thing and that's it and then it turned off and now we are well, it's turning back on apparently. Uh, not yet. It just went black again. It's doing something funky. It's gonna do this whole thing. It's gonna, you know, do it the normal update. Um, this part I'm hoping should not take as long. I can already see the status bar right there. Um, so once that is done, I will continue. Um, so I will see you right after this. Okay, so it's just about done. It just has a little tiny bit left, um, and then it will be moving on to the next stage. All right, so it looks like it is done. It has eh, just about a half a millimeter left on the little white loading thing, my Bob. Um, if you guys are wondering about my charger, I do have a black charger, my one from Apple, because they're really bad that they give you. Um, the one, the ones that Apple give you are really bad, so mine broke. I ordered one off Amazon. It's perfect. Um, it's called Amazon Basics. It's black. Works great. Alright, so my phone just turned off and then it turned back on and I guess this is going to be the next stage of the update. Alright, so this looks like it's the next stage of the update. Um, looks like it has another one of these lo long, forever loading screens that seem like they take years. Um, I said earlier that it could take 30 to 45 minutes. This seems like it's going to take a lot longer than that. It could take, you know, up to an hour or so. Um, but this stage looks like it's going to take... It's, gonna go a lot faster it's already oh okay looks like that mm -hmm. stage is already done so my phone just vibrated looks like it may be done I don't know yet looks like it's turning on alright it's telling me hello hola okay hello so it's telling me hello in every language it can possibly think okay so I do have iOS 7 right now and I still have my assistive touch awesome it looks exactly the same. Okay, so it's t still telling me hello. Okay, so it looks like I do finally have iOS 7. Um, and my update is telling me my update was completed. Continue. And I'm going to enable that. Um, this looks like it's just a, a, um, a, it's verifying my account and it's telling me to set up everything. Okay, so it just updated my iCloud settings and gave me my personal information, so I had to uh, cut that part out. Um, and now it's, it's you know, this is pretty much just basic um, iPhone setup stuff. So continue, welcome to iPhone, get started. And there we go, I now have iOS 7 um, telling me all kinds of stuff. Instagram, okay, my phone's blowing up, so um, I'm going to have to, you know, uh, make a full run through on iOS 7. Looks like I do have it, though, so let's lock my phone and just confirm, says slide to unlock, so you slide it, unlock. So that would be it. I can slide up and get some settings and this is the official iOS 7 this is not a beta version this is the the public version um, you can go and download it right now uh, I will be doing a future video uh, future video on this um, full run through but until then um, that was the installation of iOS 7 see you guys next time